Hello everybody and welcome back to Velocity Launch Systems. My name is Johnny Shaley and this beautiful piece of technology is my TDC rocket. For the past two years I've spent countless hours developing almost every aspect of this rocket with the exception of the launch pad. Uh, from the start I never wanted a complicated launch pad. I wanted to do pretty much what a launch pad is you know from its origins meant to do and that's simply provide a surface for the rocket to launch off of. And so what I have built does just that. Uh, it has uh, just this mount at the bottom and a launch pad computer which pretty much just does the bare minimum. It is capable of igniting the rocket motor and initiating that launch process. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at both these systems. So let's start with talking about the design of the launch pad. So it's comprised of five 3D printed parts that were all designed in Onshape, which is a free to use browser CAD. And as you can see, it's four legs uh, and they're all screwed on to this main bracket that kind of holds it all together. And then the whole system could be screwed down to a piece of wood or whatever the surface is going to be. The rocket at the bottom has this other 3D printed adapter which is also designed in on shape. And that just screws right into the body tube of the rocket. And then the whole thing just kind of rests on the launch pad like this. And that allows the four prongs that stick out to kind of hold on to the rocket. And what this does is it pretty much just keeps the rocket in the upright position. Uh, while it's idle and waiting to uh, ignite the motor and launch. All right, so now let's talk about the design of the launch pad computer. So its sole purpose is to ignite the motor, which initiates the launch process. And then from there, the flight computer on the rocket will do all the rest of the work. But we do need that system for igniting the motor. And so that's what we have here. And so it runs off an Arduino Nano and it's very simple. It doesn't need anything fancy. The Nano is more than capable of handling all the things that this needs to do. So it runs off the Nano. Uh, some of the things it has on it, two servo outputs. Right now, we don't actually need them, but they're just there as you know, room for improvement if I wanna say add the launch clamps or the tower or a tower that holds up the rocket uh, while it's idling. Those are just two possibilities. Right now, they don't really serve a purpose other than that. We have a push button on it that allows us to control the rocket and the launch pad uh, via the push button. We can initiate launch manually if the uh, Bluetooth doesn't work. We have uh, a battery pack here with two batteries that you know are enough to power the whole system. And a voltage regulator drops that voltage from nine volts to five volts, which is what the Nano needs to run. And then coming over here, we have a spot for an external battery pack. So those two uh, batteries aren't fully capable of uh, launching or igniting the motor. They don't have enough amps. And then coming over here, we actually have a spot for the motor igniter to hook up to. So we can plug those leads in there. And then there's a MOSFET right here, which allows the Nano to control the flow of that electricity and ignite the motor. So now I wanna take a look at the Bluetooth function. So right now we have this Bluetooth chip that's connected to the launch pad computer. And the blinking light signals that it's not connected to anything, but it's ready to be paired. So if we come over here to my phone, we have this app that allows me to connect to it. So I can go in here and then I can choose the device. There's a lot of devices, but this is the one right here. All right, so now I'm connected and you'll see that it's not flashing anymore, which means I'm paired. And I'm able to choose which pin I wanna control. So I'm gonna choose pin 10 because I know that's gonna be the red LED. And when I power it on, you'll see that the red LED powers on. So I can do this, I can control uh, how many volts I wanna send to it. So, you know, it'll do that. And then I can choose, you know, any of the 13 pins on the Nano. Uh, right now, pins nine and 10 work best because they're the LEDs and you can see them go on and off. Um, but primarily this will be used to control the launch. So we can use this to control the MOSFET, which will in turn ignite the motor. So this is just a last minute addition that I made that makes it a little bit more complex, but makes it really cool. So my goal is to launch this rocket within the next month. And so it is likely that the launch pad that you see here is gonna be the one that's gonna be on that very first launch. And I think at this point, it's fully capable of doing everything it needs to do, which means all that's left is to program the actual flight computer. And I'm already about halfway done. But other than that, we are pretty much ready for our first launch, which will hopefully happen before uh, 2023. So stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment if you have any suggestions or tips or any concerns about the design of the rocket. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.